Extraterrestrials, I'm Kim, this is Decimals in Bellacor, and today I'm coming at you with a September wrap-up. It's going to be a really quick one because in the month of September I read two books. Two. Basically, I moved into a new living situation, I'm still settling in, and all of a sudden I'm working 60 hours a week. So reading time has kind of taken a back seat. Let's put a pin into that particular tangent for just a moment because I have two fabulous books to tell you about. First of all, Nixia Unleashed by Scott Rankin. My full review can be found here, but this baby is the second book in a sci-fi trilogy following a team of young people who are hand-selected by a shady megacorporation called Babel to travel to an inhabited planet and mine a new and mysterious substance called Nixia. But the locals are a subtle diplomatic thorn in Babel's side, and they have other plans for the crew. And lastly, but I read Smoke and Iron by Rachel Kane. This is the fourth book in the Great Library Saga, and it's been revealed that the fifth book is going to be the last. If you haven't already discovered this series, it exists in a world where the library at Alexandria never burned, and alchemy was harnessed to preserve and protect knowledge. But slowly, like a river eroding its banks, the Great Library has slipped away from its true purpose and has been secretly and systematically censoring all works considered too progressive. This world is teetering on a precipice, where the most dangerous threat to the current structure of power is the printing press. Jess Brightwell and an ensemble of rich and compelling characters are at war with this sinister new library and the archivist at its head. In this one, Jess lies his way into the heart of the archivist's stronghold. He puts all his friends in danger and trusts in their ability to get themselves out of it because he's busy lighting a fire under this house of cards. Yep, that's it. The two whole books I read this month. This year, as of today, I read 93 books out of 130, which was the goal that I set in January because I'm crazy. According to Goodreads, I have roughly 100 days to read 37 books. So here's your call to arms. Please send me recommendations for quick reads, for quick series, for books I can read on audiobooks, because literally all of the time that I have to read at this point is the weekends and on my commute. Guys, I have a commute. <sighs> is anybody else weirded out by that? I feel like an adult and it like gives me the creepy crawlies. <laughs> and the worst part is my weekend reading time is actually being eaten into <laughs> by my video schedule. I love you guys. I love making videos. I love talking to you about books. Oh my goodness, I've made some incredible friends over the last few weeks because you guys have been talking to me in comments, and it's wonderful, but it takes time, and apparently I no longer have any of that. Oh, guys, the only reason this video is getting made is because I had a whole day off. Like, this, is, this never happens. So I'm going to take on a slightly erratic video schedule. I'm hoping for two a month, and if I can make three happen, I will. Also, I'm spending the whole month of December in Seattle being an extra pair of hands as my best friend and her wife prep for their, their first baby. I'm gonna be an auntie, guys! <laughs> so yeah, wonky video schedule for a while, but when hiatus swings back around, you will be seeing a lot more of me, do not worry. Seriously, guys, I'm having an amazing time at my new job, and I just really love them, and I'm sad it only lasts a little while, but there will be another one to come after it, and the world will keep spinning, and I just have to trust. <laughs> this has been Oversharing and Anxiety with Kim. I need, like, a kazoo or a confetti popper. That would really round out this moment, don't you think? But alas, no confetti to be had. Anyway, come talk to me about books. <laughs> Avienta! is the second in a sci-fi trilogy about a team of young people hand-selected by the mega corporation Babel to travel to an inhabited planet and mine a new and mysterious substance called Nixia. Good God, why did I do this to myself?